The vehicle I'm using is a 2016 Ford Focus. For this example, I have confirmed in-car power and an intact electrical system, but maybe I do not have the ignition key where it is a push button start vehicle and the key fob battery is dead. Normally the power from the battery goes through the ignition switch to a fuse that protects the airbag control module or ACM circuit. I have identified the ACM fuse as F86 from the owner's manual. I'm going to use a repowering device to supply power directly to the ACM, bypassing the ignition key. Ultimately, I'm going to plug the 12 volt plug into an accessory outlet in the vehicle. The positive wire is red and has an inline 7.5 amp fuse. The end of the wire has a spade connector which you can see is already connected to a yellow fuse block adapter. The negative wire is black and has an alligator clip at the end. This gets connected to a good vehicle ground. I use the owner's manual to assist me in identifying the ACM fuse. In this case, fuse F86 is the fourth cavity up from the bottom on the right side. If you look to the right of the fuses, you can see numbering in raised letters. Once I have removed the fuse, I need to insert the appropriate size fuse block adapter in place of the ACM fuse. I do have the potential to put power on the incorrect side, which is something that we will discuss later. I need to have the ground wire of the repowering device connected to a good vehicle ground. In this case, I'm going to connect the alligator clip to a metal bolt protruding through the door hinge. At this point, I do not have the repowering device plugged into a source of power. I've already connected the CDR interface to the vehicle using the data link connector or DLC. As you can see, the green light on the CDR interface is illuminated because I have good power in the vehicle. Power at the DLC port has nothing to do with the ignition key. Remember, normally the last step when using the CDR tool would be to apply power or turn on the ignition key, whatever the case may be. So in this case, I have the software ready to go with case comments and I'm ready to collect data. In this case, I'm going to plug the repowering device into an accessory receptacle in the center console, which has power all the time. Then. I'm going to click the collect ACM data icon in the software. Ultimately, using a repowering device, I will have successfully collected data using in-car power, but without having the ignition key available. 